It is time now to show you some of this morning's headlines. The New York Times says the Presbyterian Church of the USA is attempting to melt the icy divide between the Israelis and Palestinians. Concerned by the deadlock in the Middle East peace negotiations, the church narrowly voted at its convention in Detroit to divest from three companies that it says supply Israel with equipment used in the occupation of Palestinian territory. The Wall Street Journal says the National Park Service is banning drone aircraft from 400 parks. The use of drones in the parks has grown recently. The agency says the parks are meant to be enjoyed for their quiet and their natural beauty, not the noise and distraction made by drones. The Los Angeles Times says chemist Stephanie Kolek has died. While her name may not ring a bell, her research on polymers in the 1960s is credited with saving thousands of lives. It became Kevlar, the light, super strong synthetic fiber used for creating bulletproof vests and armor. Stephanie was 90 years old. And USA Today reports Tiger Woods is returning to the green, sidelined by recent back surgery. Woods announced on Facebook Friday that he's planning to be on the tee at the Quicken Loans National in Maryland next week. Woods has been hampered by injuries for years. He underwent surgery as recently as March. He's only played three times this season, so I'm sure a lot of people are eager to see him get out there. And I'm sure he's eager to be back.